Only on 41 Action News tonight, a Northland neighborhood is on high alert after thieves target their streets. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield spoke to neighbors about the bizarre crimes. When the sun sets, you can see this neighborhood is pretty dark, minus a couple of house lights. And it could be one of the reasons why thieves were able to move from home to home undetected until the morning. It's like being in a park. I mean, look at all the trees and stuff. It's this quiet neighborhood that first drew Larry Quick to his home of 16 years. His neighborhood quiet until Wednesday. And I found this car. Looked like somebody probably used a Slim Jim on it. And uh, then I was turned around to go back, and I noticed that my gate between the two house and the garage was open, which I never leave open. The next thing to catch his eye, footprints on the door to his garage. Someone tried to break in without any luck, popping open his shed instead, taking off with some of his wife's tools. Two weed eaters, uh, leaf blower, and uh, a gator chainsaw. This despite all of his lights. I've got that light there. I've got a light on the back of the house coming out of the door. I've got this street light and I've got another light there. Across the street, his neighbors targeted two. Usually if they use a Slim Jim, you'll see something along in this area. Both of William Jones's cars had been locked, broken into, rummaged through. Everything's been removed from the glove box, the center console, and everywhere else in the vehicle. He's still trying to figure out what exactly is gone. It looks like they're searching for something, something in particular, but I don't have a clue what it would be. As Not for Larry, he's hoping whoever left the prints don't come back. I, I told the sheriff, I said, well, if I call you again and they got rock salt in them and they're tied to my front tree, I said, don't pay attention to it. <laughs> the Clay County Sheriff's Office tells me nearby cars on other streets were also vandalized. Right now, they do not have any suspect information, but they have increased patrol in the area. Reporting in Clay County, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.